Hey, I'm Brian Mize, and welcome back to Pineland Cottage, where we're in my rental house garage right now, going through some toys I got. Um, when Black Friday came along, I said, I need to load up on some new tools for the construction project. So I, I went a little crazy and bought a bunch of cool tools. Uh, the first one we're going to get into here is called the Cut Hub. It's a really nice uh, aluminum miter saw stand for uh, the job site. So we're unboxing it here. No, that's a, need a smaller one. Find the right bit to get these screws out of this cut hub. There we go. So this is the Mac Daddy miter saw stand. It comes in its own crates. And then you can actually use the crate boxes for storage of the stand. Let's see what piece we got here first. Should be both wings uh, in each of the boxes. So this is all made of high grade aluminum and uh, anodized red coloring. So let's see. Make sure we don't have to spin this thing around to get it, get it out now. Get it out of the box here. Actually comes with its, own, with its own two by twelve. That's made for, I guess, help it with shipping. But it also acts as a wing off the side of the tables as well. Save some money by uh, using that wood. <laughs> <laughs> that base package just up pretty good. Well, let's see. It looks like it's already built, though. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty much built. It just. Um, yeah, there you go. So that comes off. Hold that part right there for me. So we'll just lay this up here. Like that. I got this now. Let's see. Actually, let's grab this. I can't. Everything's laser cut in here. All this is machined really nice. What do you expect to use this for? So this is the miter saw stand. So what happens is, is basically um, this is set up just like this here. Where, let's see. I think it just popped there. Yeah, it just comes out like that. And then these push down and lock in there like that. And this pops just brand new. It's a little tight. And that pops in there like that. So that locks that side down. Yeah. So you got, got this on both sides. So, first of all, you got a nice work stand made out of nice aluminum. Has this uh, built in measure gauge on it. So, this is only one side of the whole stand. It'll be nice because we'll be able to put up 16 foot long pieces of material. And then in the center, we'll have a connection piece. Um, that's the flat part for the miter saw. And then on the other side will be the other stand. And then these two by 12s will have a, a way to latch them on here and they'll be the wings on the outside. So you can use it as an outfeed table too for your, um, for your tools. 
have adjustable legs so if the ground's on level just take and adjust the legs as needed so we'll have to put it all together and give you a full demo of it once we get everything out the box and or how the box is <laughs> out of the crates and get it all put together so so check this out they actually put a carpeted liner in here so that again you can use these crates as a storage container so that if you put this in your trailer or whatnot uh when you slide your stands in you're not going to scratch it up all on that wood and everything so that's a nice little little touch there reuse these screws <laughs> These are the good ones. Yeah, I got some good technology nowadays and just the cell phones, huh? All right. So now this is the center piece that goes in between the two stands. And this is what the miter saw itself will get mounted to. Yeah, let's see if I can get this out of here. Just pack it real tight. All right, there we go. That's probably got some of the... Yeah, other parts in there on the inside packed in there. All right. So that's part of the stand, like the base plate. And then this is all the accessories for the stand. So this is the nice piece right here, I believe. Should be the anodized aluminum glide stop. I do believe get it out of here. Yeah, this is this is the daddy here. So this is really nice. So when you got your pieces on your work table and you've put your piece up here and you decided, hey, this is how long I need the piece to be, you can basically just clamp this thing down here and I gotta make all the adjustments, but it's really nice because this will just freely slide along the stand and it'll give you a measurement that you can see right through this little window right here. So you just get your piece dialed in and then clamp it down on both sides like that and then you've got to stop so that you just slide your material up chop 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 so it makes it really easy to make a lot of cuts really quick so yeah yeah it's a really neat stand um, of course that's not quite probably as tight as it needs to be but that's actually pretty good Locks in there, and then I guess you got a little micro adjustment piece here too that you can use. Looks like it. I'm not quite sure all the little nuances of it yet. I haven't gotten all down to the nitty gritty, but um, how everything works. And then these are just the uh, base plate uh, mounting brackets that the uh, center stand will will be able to lock into the the bars. Like, and this is actually, actually, this is a side piece. So that's where these um, two by 12s will mount. Again, that's the wings, but the uh, actual base plate has the same type of mounting system. So, and you got two of the sliding guide stops, which is cool. And oh yeah, this is actually the mounting bracket for the table saw. So, um, you got two wings, you got one, and they got the center where the miter saw will be, and they got the other wing. And then on the end of either one of those wings, I'll be able to mount the table saw. So we'll actually have a whole full production line. Miter saw, table saw, and everything will have a table to work off of. So it'll be really nice. Yeah, it's a company out of Utah that makes these. Again, it's all made here in the U.S. It's high-quality material, and uh, 
looking forward to getting it broke in here soon when we start the start the build is uh, we're gonna have a lot of lumber to cut up and siding to cut and pieces to put together it's not like Ikea where you got directions you got to kind of do it yourself so all right so my next piece that we got uh, one of the new toys we got is the newest pack out system it's uh, the uh, two and three drawer pack out so if you've ever bought pack out systems you know you know most of them are just the box that opens the lid right so um, and this is hopefully going to be a lot better organization because then you've got the inside then you've got all the little dividers that come with it you can put in here and kind of make it whatever you want but it's the three drawer and then the true two drawer pack out system with a dolly base so you can roll this thing around anywhere you want um, and use it wherever you want so and then of course you know with the pack out uh, system each piece will come off on its own so just uh, pop it off and change out to a different one if you want so that's what's so cool about the the pack out is that so interchangeable and of course you got this little step here too that you can use to hold the dolly still while you actually pop the two pieces off from together so pretty slick uh, you know engineering that milwaukee did with all these little notches that interlock together keep everything tight I've also got a other pack out dolly that I bought last year that's got the other organizer trays and crate part of it to it. But I like the door, the drawer uh, part, being able to, you know, have more of a, like a toolbox organization to it. So looking forward to getting this loaded up. All right, another tool I bought is called the Bora uh, Centipede. And it uh, is an interesting little tool here. It's really um, the base, the base, whoops, the base for everything that else that you can do while working. So it's going to provide uh, just a nice actual work stand. So kind of like your tailgate tent, you know, it's got the um, pieces that just kind of collapse in on itself. Just span it out like a centipede. And this is a nice one uh, where it's two by four foot. So it's two foot by four foot, but it's also not their standard 30 inch tall one. It's a 36 inch tall. So it's like cabinet height. And then what you actually do is you want to grab and order a couple of these, what they call um, tabletops. Hey, stay there heavy. <laughs> so. This will finish out your centipede system and give you that full like workbench style setup. So on here, basically it's already together and you just will pop that on here just like this. And your centipede has these little attachment points and you'll just line those up together and attach your top. And this is really nice because again, you've got full height, but you also have the dowel uh, holes here so that you can put your clamps and things. If you're working on a small piece, you'll be able to clamp it right to the table. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's got orange on it. I'm going to have to paint this. <laughs> I'm not a big orange fan. So, uh, well, it kind of reminds me of a football team I don't like. So <laughs> I have to get rid of the orange. I don't even have orange clothes or anything orange in my house. So, so we're going to have to spray paint or tape up the, the orange on this to make it a different color. But it's a nice, nice piece. Though. So looking forward to using this as well. So that's uh, kind of a... A quick little sneak peek at our first segment of tools that we're going to uh, put together and use on our job site. Um, come back next week, we're going to actually unbox the miter saw, the table saw. I've got a cordless Makita, um, basically what I call like a sidewinder or um, rear handle skill saw. Uh, when I bought it, it actually came with a free 
little air compressor that's also battery operated. Um, and an interesting tool that you'll probably not use too much, but uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, I'll let you see that. It's something that everybody uses all the time when they're painting, but uh, it's a powered tool. So, um, you know, come back and see that, and I'll let you know what that is then. So, take care. We'll see you soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember to like and subscribe our, to our channel. We appreciate comments and feedback, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video.